first number is 1.39, so we divide all of them by 1.39. The lowest number of moles is 1.39, so I am dividing all of them by 1.39. So when we divide all of these by 1.39, the ratio that we get is 4 is to 8 is to 1. Now this is the simplest whole number ratio of uh, C, H and O. So the empirical formula, I am writing EF. Uh, for empirical formula, EF is equal to C4 H8O. This is the empirical formula. But what we need to calculate is the molecular formula. So for that, we calculate the empirical mass. So the empirical mass is 12 times 4 because 4 carbon atoms and 12 is the number of carbon atoms plus, uh, plus 1 times 8, not 8 because 1 is the atomic mass of hydrogen and we have 8 hydrogen atoms so plus 1 times 8 plus 16 uh, times 1 because we have 1 oxygen atom so when we add all of these we get 12 into 4 plus 8 plus 16 which is 72 this is the same as 72 so now what we do is that we divide the molecular mass by the empirical mass and in this case it is 72 over 72 because they have given us the molecular mass as 72 and the empirical mass is also 72 so this is equal to 1 so when the empirical mass is the same as the molecular mass the empirical formula is the same as the molecular formula but for example so so in this case the molecular formula I am writing MF over here molecular formula is equal to C4H8O so this is the molecular formula as well as the empirical formula but if this ratio was 2 in case this ratio was 2 then we would multiply all these numbers by 2 so the molecular formula would be C8H16O2 so this would be the molecular formula if this ratio was 2 so depending on what this ratio is, we uh, multiply that with the empirical formula to get the molecular formula. So in this case it was 1. So anything, uh, so anything times 1 is uh, the same thing. So the empirical formula times 1 is the empirical formula itself. So it is the molecular formula. So in this case, the empirical and molecular formula are the same. Now let's do another example. So when CH2Cl2 which is dichloromethane is heated under reflux with an excess of NaOH aqueous a compound W is formed. W has the following composition by mass C 40% H 6.7% and O 53.3% Use this information and the data booklet. So the data booklet is basically needed for their relative atomic masses to show that the empirical formula of W is CH2O. So we have to prove that this is the empirical formula. So we have C, again let's make a table, CH and we have O. So again let's take these as uh, the total mass as 100 grams. So these will be the masses of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen respectively. So the number of moles of carbon will be 40 over 12. Uh, the number of moles of hydrogen will be 6.7 over 1. The number of moles of oxygen will be 53.3 over 16. So this is equal to 40 over 12. Uh, when I do this on my calculator, this is equal to 3.33. 3.33. This is equal to 6.7. And this is equal to uh, 3.33 again. So the lowest number of moles in each. So I have this ratio for these three. 3.33 is to 6.7 is to 3.33. So I divided by the lowest number of moles, all three. So the lowest number of moles is 3.33. So I divide all three by 3.33.
so I get 1 is to 2 is to 1 which is the simplest whole number ratio and hence our empirical